Hi, and welcome to Medicine Past, Present and Future. My name's Dr Nick, and I'm the past. And my name's Dr Isabel, and I'm the future. And together, we're, we're the, the present. present. Now, Dr Isabel, you know those people who say every time they get a slight sniffle, ooh, I've got the flu? Yeah, mostly men, Dr Nick. <laughs> well, fair enough. Well, the same happens when people say, oh, I've got a terrible migraine, when in fact all they've got is a headache. So, what is the difference between ordinary headache and migraine? Well, there are actually over 150 different types of headache, Dr Nick. Really? Yeah, that's according to the International Headache Society, and you'd think they'd know what they were talking about. OK. But the most common two are the everyday headache, or tension headache, and migraine. So let's talk about those two. OK, so tension headache is the one that we've all had, and it's the one that's like a band around your head. And while it can be quite unpleasant, it's not associated with visual symptoms or vomiting. Migraine, on the other hand, is associated with severe pain that's often unilateral. Uh, meaning on one side of the head? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. As well as sensitivity to light and nausea and vomiting. <laughs> so if you find yourself laid out in a darkened room with a bucket beside your bed, it may be a migraine. And classical migraine is associated with what's called an aura. Now, auras are things like visual symptoms, they can be numbness or heaviness in a limb, or even difficulties with speech. And auras are a sign that the headache is coming. Now, before we go on, I just want to reiterate, in migraine, these aura-like symptoms resolve pretty quickly. However, if they persist, it may be a sign of something more sinister, like a stroke. Yeah, really important point, Dr Isabel, thank you. So, if there's any doubt at all, seek help immediately. Now, you sometimes get migraine with aura, don't you, Dr Nick? I, I do, and it, it starts with these weird, zigzaggy, flashy lights that last for about 15 or 20 minutes. Now, the good thing is, if I take some simple painkillers, I'm fine. And migraines tend to run in families, but touch wood, so far I've been OK. <laughs> and thousands of years ago, it was believed that headache, like things like madness and epilepsy, were caused by demons trapped inside the skull. So what on earth did they do to try and get these demons outside of their skull, Dr Nick? Well, if you've got a demon trapped inside your skull, you need to let it out, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> so they practice a thing called trepanning, where they actually drilled holes in the side of the skull. And we know this because Neolithic skulls have been found with bits of bone missing. So no anaesthesia, nothing. They just drilled into their skull. And I'm not sure how well it worked, but I'm sure it stopped people complaining about headache. These days, we have really effective treatments for headaches and migraines, so if over-the-counter medication aren't working for you, make sure you see your doctor for some alternative therapies. And everyone's grandmother has their own home remedy, and my absolute favourite is Tiger Balm, which, Dr Isabel, actually works. Really? Yes. Yeah. There was an Australian study which showed that rubbing Tiger Balm on your temples is as effective as simple painkillers. But not every treatment works for every person, of course. I think for me, if nothing was working, I'd probably get Botox, which actually, Dr Nick, is a really effective treatment for migraine when medications fail. Does that mean I could get my wrinkles fixed as well as my migraines? I think it's a bit late for that, Dr Nick. Oh. <laughs>